Hey guys, what's going on? Ben Polly 97 Polly here, back with another video review, this time of the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Saba. I think this is one of my second favorite Legacy items ever because it's the White Ranger's weapon. And, uh, and it's more show accurate than the original Saba that we got. Anyway, let's get started with the packaging. First, we got the White Ranger right here, uh, Talking Tiger Saber, uh, Lights and Sounds, Diecast Parts. And uh, Legacy Saba, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, Bandai 15 Plus. Anything over here? No. We got the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers logo, and we got Saba, Tongue Taker Saber, and we got the uh, Season 2 Rangers. Same thing over here. Uh... We got the White Ranger, Talking Tiger Saber. Same over here, and let's check out the back side. We got the White Ranger over here, we got Lights and Sounds, Talking Tiger Saber, and we got the story. I can put it right there for you guys if you want to read the story. And that is the packaging. There we go. And here is Saba, you guys. Look at him. He is so awesome. So how how much die cast is on it? It is very, very, very heavy, guys. So metal, metal in the coin, metal right here, metal on the head, metal right here, and the blade can extend. Actually, let's do it on this side. There is Saba. Whew, this thing is so heavy, it's killing my arms. So, that is Saba. Uh, let's get into the lights and sounds. And so, you got the on-off switch. Come on, focus! Sorry if you can't see it, guys, but that's the on on off switch. If you press it, we get. That is so neat. And we got battle sounds over here. I think that's all of it. And we got two buttons over here that will allow him to. That is so neat. Saba actually talks. That is very, very, very cool. Well, thank you, Saba. And those are the lights and sound. Oh. There's one more feature. If you hold these two buttons down, we get the theme. I'll let that play for you. Alright guys, as you, as you can know, I love the Saba Sword. This is one of my all-time favorites because I think this is the most show-accurate Saba we ever had since the original toy, and I highly recommend getting this if you can find it. 
Um, I got this at Lexington Comic Con for a very insane price for like, um, I think it was a hundred, a hundred and two dollars, can't remember, or a hundred and five. But yeah, I recommend this thing a lot. I highly recommend you guys getting this, if you can. Alright, that is the Legacy Sabo review. Hopefully you guys liked it. Of course, uh, leave a like and comment and subscribe. And of course, this is Ben Polly 97 Peace, love, and Zordon. It's Morphin Time. I'll catch you guys later.